So here we're going to look at a couple of examples of negative indices. So here I've got a fraction in some brackets raised to a negative power, which is also a fraction. And the same here. I've got a fraction in the brackets raised to a negative indice, which is also a fraction. So let's start with this one first. So what can we do here? So the rule we can have here, if I just describe this as a over b to the power of minus x over y, that can now change to b over a to the power of x over y. So take the reciprocal and lose the minus sign. So now we can rewrite this as 729 over 512 to the power of two thirds. So that takes care of that. Now, what have we got going on here? Can we do anything with this fraction? Well, we could take this apart here as our general example, and we can write this as b to the power of one over y divided by a to the one over y, and that's still raised to the x. And that is also the same as writing this as the y root of b divided by the y root of a, and raising all that to the power of x. So let's apply that to this here. So still keeping my brackets, I've got 729 raised to the 1 over y, in this case y would be 3. So that's raised to the power of 1 third. And we've got 512 also raised to the 1 third. So that's basically 1 third distributed. And then that leaves the 2, which is our x in the numerator. OK, now using this part, we've now got the third root, which is the cube root of 729 divided by the cube root of 512 and then what we can do is then just square that result. Okay now what's the cube root of 729? Well I know 9 9's are 81, 81 times 9, 729. So the result inside there is 9. So now I've got 9 over so 512, 8 8 is 64, 64 times 8 is 512, so my cube root of 512 is 8. So I've got 9 over 8, still in brackets, and now what I can do, I can bring the squared inside. So now my general rule will be here, so my cube root here, let's say for example I've now got two integers, let's call them a k and m. I've got k over m power of x, let's just change that a little bit, that then becomes k to the x over m to the x, just how we distributed it here. So then I've got this one here is 9 squared over 8 squared, which is 81 over 64. And that's where I'm going to leave that one there. Now let's do this one. So what does this one come to? Well, first of all, Take the reciprocal of inside the bracket and get rid of the minus sign. So now I've got 16 over 625 to the power of three quarters. OK, now I can invite this denominator as the fourth root inside the brackets, copying this rule. So now I've got 16 to the one quarter divided by 625 to the one quarter raised to the power of three. Now the fourth root, so let's write that. So now I've got the fourth root of 16 divided by the fourth root of 625, and then that's all cubed. Now the fourth root of 16, two twos are four, four twos are eight, eight twos are 16. So the fourth root is just two, and then for my denominator, there's 625, by 5 is 25, 25 times 5 is 125, and times by 5 again is 625, so the fourth root of 625 is 5. 
So now using this rule, I can bring the cube inside. So now I've got two cubed over five cubed, which simplifies to eight over 125. So those are gonna be my two answers to my original questions. And that completes those.